Scentland, the land of scent. Hello and welcome and please let's celebrate together springtime 2024 with this beautiful bouquet of yellow roses. So gorgeous. Yellow and rose. Like a famous James Taylor song says there, right? Yellow is the favorite color of mine and uh, I think it fits springtime perfectly. And so here I am, Chris from Scentland, and um, today is all about six or half a dozen vintage discontinued fragrances that I would recommend to use and I will personally use uh, springtime 2024. And there will be a part two, there will be a part two, a follow up to this review, which then will concentrate on another six fragrances that are still currently available, still made, and I would recommend those for springtime 2024 as well. So you have, you know, the choice, okay, to go for vintage discontinued or for still available fragrances. So part one, this part, we're gonna be focusing Scentland style on vintage discontinued good old beauties, okay, which are perfect for springtime 2024. And without much further ado, let's deep dive there. Um, one of the most beautiful uh, fragrances, um, floral fragrances ever released is this one. Uh, look, the color is perfect, actually perfect in this setting. Um, Incense, which has nothing to do with incense, okay? Incense uh, by Givenchy released in 2000, uh, 1993, sorry, 99, my good God, 31 years ago. 1993, this came out and it was well ahead of its time with its beautiful floral concept, great magnolia in here and a wonderful green um, backup, very classy um, fragrance, extremely well uh, performing and perfect for springtime. It's springtime bottled, I should say. Um, it's a timeless fragrance, it's not available obviously anymore. That's why it's featured in this lineup here. Um, but it's definitely worth to look at if you like your um, man's fragrances to be on the floral side and and if you like to smell something that is really like uh springtime bottled okay incense Givenchy next in the lineup 2005 was the year um Italian brand Moschino came out with this beauty called Friends in 2005 and uh, this just smells like uh like you're sitting in in Toscana at a long table with, with your friends and eat uh, your pizza, your pasta and enjoy life, enjoy the sunset, uh, the warm uh, Toscana sunset uh, in April, let's say. This is how it smells. It smells like the Cucina della Mamma, which is full with herbs, citruses. And I, I swear you can even smell the wooden furniture of, of uh, della Cucina della Mamma, okay? Uh, so, so this is an absolutely stunning, tr typically and truly Italian fragrance with its herbal, citrusy, uh, woody background. Uh, and, and it's extremely well performing like all of these fragrances that are in the lineup. And uh, it really smells like uh, Italian springtime bottled friends from Moschino from 2005. Let's go further. Um, Alain Delon. Alain Delon released this uh, one in uh, 2001 called Shogun. Shogun, and this is like an aperitif. This is like an aperitif, uh, a gin tonic. It smells like a, a fresh, invigorating, fizzy, slightly bitter gin tonic. And it has the wonderful uh, note of tomato leaf in here as well, which makes it even more special. Um, and it's extremely well performing, not available anymore, but probably still available, you know, um, not being produced anymore, but still available here, there, online, obviously. Um, absolutely gorgeous, stunning if you like your fragrances, a bit floral, a bit bitter. Um, again, it smells like a fresh, fizzy gin tonic with a, with a, with a special twist to it, okay? Uh, Alain Delon, Shogun from the year of 2000 and one as an aperitif to the next fragrance, the, if you want the, the main course. Um, and this puts a smile on my face because it really is, it's almost an edible fragrance. Luciano Pavarotti, another, uh, you know, 
Luciano, celebrity fragrance, right? Luciano Pavarotti, Luciano, released in 1999, not available anymore, but still widely available, not produced um, or manufactured anymore, but still uh, available online again, okay? Uh, but discontinued, that's what I want to get across. And um, this always puts a smile on my face, even if I see the bottle, uh, because it just reminds me of, uh, of walking into an Italian pizzeria and smell smell the air there it smells of fresh cut prosciutto you know the, the ham the italian ham prosciutto but it has also a good dash of herbs in there uh, a bit of citrus there as well they are somehow cousins i think here with uh, with with friends uh, because the theme is similar but this really smells like a pizzeria an italian pizzeria somewhere in italy or even uh, overseas in new york city maybe uh this is exactly how it smells uh it's it's incredible it smells really of fresh cut prosciutto at least to me okay so um very easy lingering great great wonderful performance uh and it's just it's just uh, something that you have never smelled before um it has a true and genuine style to it and like each one of those you have to be dressing up for these fragrances ladies and gentlemen boys and girls these fragrances are not meant for uh, to be worn with a hoodie and uh, at least some show some sporty casual elegance if you wear any of these fragrances um, during spring 2024. 20, do me a favor please. Luciano by Luciano Pavarotti. Uh, yes, uh, what a stunning beauty this is. Paco Rabanne, yet another discontinued fragrance uh, from the year of 2002. Uh, I love I just yeah this, this is just so clear cut. Uh, and it smells how it looks like clear cut clear like a a, um, a, a stream a, a fresh running stream somewhere up in the swiss alps it's it's fresh it's clear cut it's extremely it has a very special dna this at the time was introduced as a modern time modern day fougere fragrance okay so it has this this uh, modern lavender theme going in there with 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 uh with notes that that enhanced this experience into a um, extremely clear, um, crystal clear uh, fragrance, uh, fragrantic experience. It's just one of the cleanest fragrances I've ever smelled with a special touch. It's never boring. It has a fresh spiciness in there that is just unparalleled, okay? And it, even to me, to my nose, has some uh, floral notes as well, which again, just like in case of... Um, of incense is very much part of the springtime. Springtime is all about florals, you know, uh, all the, the the flowers are blossoming, you smell the wonderful bouquets and, and it's lingering in the air and, and this is all embodied in almost each of these fragrances except if you if you're sitting in the pizzeria, right? Uh, but it's true, um, it is just it's just mind blowingly beautiful and natural smelling to no end, each one of these, each one of these. And last but not least, a uh, wonderful, wonderful fragrance by the German house of Otto Kern, the late great Otto Kern released this in 1991 called Cycle. If you put it this way, yeah, you can read it. Cycle. Cycle uh, is, <laughs> if I need to describe this, um, this uh, again, modern 90s Fougere uh, fragrance, it's like a, it's like if you would blend Sport de Paco Rabanne, which is yet another great fragrance to be worn in springtime, okay? And so Sport de Paco Rabanne from 86 and Aramis Havana from 1994. If you would somehow blend these two, you would be very close to getting Cycle by Otto Kern, released in 1991. It's just, it's just an extremely gentlemanly, um, clear-cut, fresh, a natural smelling, very elegant, um, modern day fougere fragrance, much overlooked, of course, discontinued vintage, but um, worth getting if you can find it. Okay, so thanks very much. This was Chris with, with these half dozen uh, fragrances that are all discontinued, um, all vintage, uh, but very much worth to get because they smell absolutely stunning they have all a great performance uh, and they're perfect uh, in this springtime weather okay so i'm going to be wearing these in rotation uh, this spring 
and I'm going to be back very soon with part two of this review, which will then be concentrating on currently still uh, manufactured fragrances that are still in production. And I would recommend those six ones for you for springtime 2024 as well. Thanks very much and see you soon for the second part. Bye bye. Hope I don't drop these. That would be a shame. Whoa, no. Just kidding. <laughs>